real star is this lady here. Oh, she's a Brahma. No eggs. No V notches. Well above minimum landing size. This one's going to be well, at least 105. That was worth it just for that one. Perfect. Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker Kitchen. So, John has brought a lovely, lovely lobster home. Um, I'm going to make lobster tacos. I've never had them before, never really seen them around before, but I was really craving tacos the other night and I was like, oh, I bet like lobster or crab ones would be good. So, we have a lobster, so we're going to give it a try. So, um, they are in the pan, boiling away. If you want to know how to dispatch and cook a lobster, um, the easiest method, we have a video on the channel. John's possibly linked it down here, or if you, or if you check through our play playlists, you'll be able to find it. So, to start, I'm going to make some guacamole, 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 you know, the green avocado stuff. Um, so I'll show you how to make that and then we're going to make up some salsa and I've just got some standard like taco shells to pop it into so let's see what it turns out like. Okay so for the guacamole, guacamole, I can't remember we're pronouncing it, I'm going to use two avocados, keep one of the stones and I will tell you why in a moment. So keep him to one side. Just scoop out the flesh into the bowl. And then you want some finely chopped red onion. And then you can either use like one big ripe tomato or I've just got a couple of cherry tomatoes to use. Just chop it up, smush it up. Doesn't really matter how it goes in. It's all gonna get mashed together in a moment anyway. So I put four cherry tomatoes in there and then you want the juice of one lime. Give it a roll so it's easier to squeeze. Some chilli, so you could use a fresh red chilli. I'm just gonna use my lazy chilli, about a quarter of a teaspoon there. mash. I did almost forget the coriander so just roughly chop some fresh coriander leaves and stalks and uh, mix them in as well. Then pop your stone in if you aren't eating it straight away and get it into the fridge to chill. in a touch of seasoning, a little bit of black pepper, a little grind of sea salt. Right now, unless you're going to serve this immediately, the avocado will start to turn brown. So what you do is with the stone you kept to one side, the stone in there. Cling film it and chill it while we make the salsa. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I'm sure someone's going to tell me in the comments, but yeah, just pop the stone in, cling film and chill. There we go, that's proper back to the boil now. It's had another two minutes after, so I'm going to get her out and straight into a sink of cold water.
The lobster's cooked, it's now chilling in the sink. So I'm gonna make the salsa. Now, you can make the salsa with a food processor or a blender, but I'm gonna do it by hand, just so that for anyone that doesn't have an electrical appliance to help them with it, just to show you that you can do it by hand. So I'll go through what we need and then we'll get it mixed up. So obviously tomatoes, again, I'm using cherry tomatoes, red onion, lime, chili, garlic, and I add in a little bit of cumin. We will then, we'll see what the flavour's like and season it and we'll maybe balance it with some white wine vinegar and or some sugar. We'll see uh, what it's like. So I'm just going to basically smash these up and chop them up, uh, add in the onion and the rest of the ingredients. Tomatoes and onions in there. Let's get some garlic and a few chilli flakes. Lime juice. A sprinkle of cumin powder. Black pepper. Now if you want it more like a like a sauce consistency. You could pop this into a blender, but I quite like it when it's chunky. And just for a little bit of contrast colour, just shred in a little coriander. This is the green, is nice with the red, as well as the extra flavour. We go. So, homemade salsa, homemade guacamole. I'm gonna clean the lobster out now and we will get it served up. Um, if you wanna see how to um, clean and dress a lobster, then again, that's in our other videos. Cleaned and um, sorted out the lobster. Um, the taco shells are just warming and what I'm gonna do, just to lift the flavor a little bit, I'm just gonna brush on some melted butter and just give it a little squeeze of um, fresh lemon juice. Now, lobster tacos might not be to everybody's taste. Lobster, butter and lemon is probably all you really need to enjoy a good lobster, but it's always nice to try something different. So, no, this isn't keeping it simple, but why not try something new? I'm not gonna go crazy with the lemon and stuff. It's like I say, just a, just a hint, because obviously we've got the salsa and guacamole. Right, let's get the tacos and get it dished up. Okay, here we go. I mean, they look pretty, don't they? So, Let's get them tried. I aren't going to even try to give James one of these because tacos aren't the easiest things to eat at the best of times. And not only that, but I don't think that the um, strong flavours of the avocado and that will be, um, will go down too well. Um, which one do you recommend? They're all the same. Oh, yeah. They've just all got salsa, guacamole, and lobster. Is it salsa or is it pico de gallo?
I always wonder about tacos. Because they're not the easiest things to eat either. They just fall apart in your hands half the time. I'm sure someone will tell us what the right way to eat them is. <laughs> um, I can never do it. I always try to hold on to it. Whenever I bite it, it just shatters all over the place and I end up with food all over my hands. Tasty. It's worked all right, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, as long as you get a good mixture of everything. Like a mixture of the guac and a mixture of the, the solid and the lobster at the same time. That is delicious and tangy. Mm. What is it that's in it with the, um, the onion and the tomato? Onion, tomato, lime juice, a bit of coriander, garlic and some chilli. You, like I was saying on the video, depending on the taste, you can add white wine vinegar and or sugar, but I didn't think it needed either. No. It must be the, um, the lime juice that I can taste. Because there is some of there, like a zing in there. It's not like squinty here. No. Another fancy way to eat your lobster. Which one do you want? I don't mind. I've already touched this one, so I like this one. James, would you like a bite? Don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I did so well with the first one. <laughs> what? I've got some chilli in that one. Ah, ah. Hmm. I do like guacamole, yeah. I haven't really had it before that time we went to Mexico. And then after that, you know. I don't like avocado though. No. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I do I really like this stuff. I'm going to double dip though, I'm afraid. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So you have eaten it? Yeah, it's only me and you eating it. Oh, big hulk. Are you going to come sit on money or are you going to sit on your mum's? Mm. Yeah, something wrong with your mind. Hi. Hmm? Oh! No, no, I'm just trying. You don't have to try it. You don't have to try it, but what is it? Guacamole. Guacamole. Mm. Do you know what this is here? Classic. Pico de gallo. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I think it's salsa. Somebody will probably tell us. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. You don't want to tell me? I don't. Right. What do we say when we finish? Bye from the Fish Locker Kitchen. Bye from the Fish Locker Kitchen. Bye. Bye. Bye.